In this video, we're going to round out the remaining options that are found underneath the Transform submenu underneath Edit. We'll be taking a look at our clockwise and counterclockwise rotation commands, as well as flip horizontally and vertically. Then we'll take a look at the Transform Again command. So, all some very simple, straightforward commands, so this video will be very short. Let's go under Edit, jump down to Transform, and you see that we have some rotate options for rotate 180 degrees. Very straightforward. You just click it and we spin the thing around. Uh, we can also choose to rotate 90 degrees clockwise, that's what CW stands for, or 90 degrees counterclockwise, if you want. So let's go back and we'll rotate 180 degrees to set this back where it was. Extremely basic, it doesn't really get much simpler than that. We can also go under transform and you see that we have the ability to flip something horizontally or vertically. And these are actually very handy, so it's good to know that these are around. We can flip horizontal, and now my writing is backwards. And we can flip vertical, so now it's upside down, which means that if I wanted to, I'd go back to transform and rotate 180 degrees, and we're right back to where we started. Very fancy. Now, I also wanted to point out the transform again command. Now, transform again is something that is pretty useful if you need to repeat a particular transformation over and over again, and it goes for any one of the transformations that we've demonstrated so far. So just to show it off, what I'm going to do is come down to scale, and I'm going to scale this layer down by holding shift so we get a little, uh, a nice maintaining of our aspect ratio just by scaling a little. And we can either go back to edit and go down to transform and choose again, or we can use control shift T as you can see here uh, in the hotkeys. Now if I do this, hit control shift T, you see that what we're doing is we're repeating that same thing over and over and over. So if I hit control alt Z, I can step back a few times and get us back to a reasonable size, and that'll go for anything. So if I go under transform and I go down to rotate, and just give this a little bit of a spin, press enter, I can now hit control shift T and I can just keep spinning that around over and over and over and over and over. And that's really all there is to it. So that covers the final remaining options that I wanted to point out. I do want to kind of show you this though. Notice that as I keep rotating this object around over and over, as I just keep spamming control shift T, Notice that overall quality of my layer is steadily getting worse and worse and worse as those pixels are arranged and rearranged and arranged and rearranged over and over and over again. So generally, you don't want to do this for rotation, and I just wanted to kind of point that out and demonstrate why. So that is going to wrap things up for this video. Thank you very much for watching.